I'm sure you heard, but we're gonna be doing Python now at Treehouse. I know, I'm excited too, and not just because Python's my favorite language and I'll be teaching it. But maybe you're not sure where Python fits into your programming life. Here are some of my favorite things about Python. It's basically everywhere. It's super small, so it shows up on embedded devices and pretty much every server ever. It's also a really simple language, so people pick it up quite often for work or just some server automation. Python has several great libraries for building web apps. The language itself is great for handling HTTP, but when you want more, Flask, Pyramid, and Django are all excellent choices for building the next great startup. And if you're worried about scaling, Discuss, Mozilla, PBS, NASA, and Reddit all use Python for their websites. Python is very heavily used for scientific computing and even has several libraries dedicated to specific areas of science. NumPy and SciPy are both fairly general purpose, but there's EarthPy for Earth Sciences, AstroPy for Astronomy, and others. In fact, let's take a look at an EarthPy notebook for plotting out sea ice thickness. Okay, this is an EarthPy IPython notebook page. Now, we're not going to talk about IPython notebook in the first course, but this is a cool way of getting to see some of the stuff that Python can do. So we have this notebook file, and you'll notice these lines that say in. These are actual Python code being put into this notebook, which we can also put in HTML, markdown, things like that. When you run one of these cells, you get the output. So in this case, we're looking at all the keys that this data set has, and there's all these things. And we can use those with other libraries, like matplotlib, and we can have it generate maps and graphs for us. So in this case, it's building a color bar for the sea level, or the sea ice thickness. We can have it generate different kinds of images for us, and we can even use other things like, in this case, base map, to generate uh, overlays on site of maps. Maybe you want to prototype your game or teach game development to kids. Pygame has you covered. It's a straightforward game development library that supports sounds, mouse, and keyboard interactions, and more. And the popular 3D application Maya supports Python. Python is also popular at film and animation companies like Disney and Lucasfilm. Or maybe you want to make desktop applications. Python comes with Tekinter built in, and there are many other GUI libraries in the cheese shop. In fact, Yesterday, I whipped up a super simple Crystal Ball app using Python. Here it is. This is the Crystal Ball app that I built in Python. It's about 50 lines of code, and it uses an image that I found on the internet. Nothing really fancy. But let's take a look at what it looks like when we actually run it. So we get this Crystal Ball, and we ask a question like, um, is the Python Basics course going to be amazing? And we hit Ask, and... Eh, 50-50. Let's try it again. Is the Python Basics course going to blow people out of the water? No. Well, not a very auspicious start, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully this gets you even more excited for Python. All right, back to course production for me, and I'll see you all again in July.